We built this battleship a couple weeks ago and had a lot of fun with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we wanted to take it to the next level. We thought, what if we could put a person on it? So I think the first thing we might want to do is as is, see if I can go out into the water and lay down on it. Yeah, and then if it failed, I don't. I think it'll actually hold a person, but if it doesn't, then we'll know what we need to improve. <laughs> right. So what do you say we take- Take everything off. Take the tower off the top. Yeah. All right. I think that's a good starting point. Come on, come on. All right, dude, so this got me thinking. Uh, last time we did this battleship video where we did the epic dive bomber battle, moment of truth. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you guys gave us a ton of comments out there on what you would like to see us do with this battleship next. One of the top comments that stuck with me was epic airsoft battle. Yes. Now, as you guys know, we have a history with airsoft <laughs> and a love for airsoft. We gravitated towards that idea right away. And it wouldn't be possible without our awesome friends over at Evic. So shout out to Evic. And they're the world's largest airsoft retailer. So you can check out the link below to check out all their awesome stuff. They're actually the ones that are sponsoring this video. And they're also going to be sending us some epic guns to be putting on this battleship. So I can't we're, wait. we're super excited about it. So what we got to do next is we got to take the boat as is. And we're going to not only try to see if it floats, uh, but we're going to put a person on it. <laughs> And so what I was thinking, what better person to try to float as a test subject than Stefan? <laughs> he hasn't been in a video in a quite a long time, so I figure what better way to have him back than to throw him out on the water. <laughs> I, I'm all for Stefan trying the boat. All right, let's go find him, come on. We thought that you would make a great Capitan. Have these been, have these been, uh... <laughs> If you haven't seen the last video, I was wearing waders that the seam had ripped in the groin. And there's definitely a leak in the crotch. Oh, <laughs> my dad had tried to patch them and didn't work too well. Didn't work too well. This is a different pair. Dude, I, I hope I, I hope I stay bone dry. <laughs> That's what I hope. Who out there is more experienced into getting on or in some crafts that we built <laughs> and then hunking it into the water? Well, let's make it happen, guys. All right, let's go not get wet. All right. <laughs> see, see you guys. You guys take care. All right, guys. <laughs> Ta -da! We need to start a fishing channel because you just look like a fisherman. How are you feeling about this, bro? I told that Jeremy up there that I'm a pretty positive guy <laughs> and I give it a 50 50 chance. <laughs> Dude, we did not build this boat to be sat in or on or hold any kind of weight. It actually is astonishing how lightweight it is. Putting the person on it in the water is going to be a little bit of a question mark. We're going to have to distribute the weight. Yeah, you're going to have to lay down. Oh, oh, got it. You just pull it right out of my hand. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be d deep enough. I don't either, but we'll see. There's this little eddy here. A what? An eddy. Eddy. What, what's like he it. doing in there? Sit this down. Seven, get on in there. Okay, I'll just deep, go in. See how deep it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm kind of jealous. I want to wear the cool pants. Yeah, just step right into that murky. Murky wash. Oh, dude, this is more than deep enough, dude. Oh this. yeah, baby. Look at that. I'm up to my knees. My wife will love this because she's all outdoors and I'm not. Seven, come down here and give him a hand. I don't move very quick. Got it? Yep. So maybe like do do hands on first. Like this? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm going. I am going in this thing. <laughs> you got it, dude. You can do this, man. You're the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's flexing. Ah, I just cut myself. You all right, man? <laughs> yeah. It's working. Look at that flex in the middle. Yeah, it's definitely flexing in the middle. How do I get off? I'm pushing him, too. Oh, you're hitting the bottom. Is it? Yeah. How, how's the stability? It's pretty good. Oh, oh no. 
Alright, I think now would be as good a time as any to get her off of there. Thanks, son. <laughs> ha! Dang, dude, that was crazy. Also, when I put my hand on there, I just got a really big, uh, huge paper cut. Just Dang, I thought it was the from motor. Here, from here to there. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, yeah, so Matt, you were driving the boat. How'd it feel? It, it felt good. It, it was a little slow. We were, we were only running on three cell, but I, I feel like if we put a slightly bigger ESC on the back with a four cell uh, battery, I think it'll work perfect. Give it a little bit more power. Yep. I mean, it's not going to be a speedboat, but it's going to be battleship speed, yep. you know? Well, I see we've delaminated from our hot glue here, so we're going to have to really watch for that or we're going to start taking on water underneath. It was ready to collapse under the weight of Stefan. But I'm 170-ish pounds. And so the fact that this foam board monstrosity carried 170 pounds without any reinforcement is pretty darn ridiculous. No matter how things go, you gotta go down with the ship. I'm going. <laughs> so the next thing we gotta do, I think we need to open this up and reinforce it so that Stefan can sit basically on the bottom, right? Yeah, and so Jeremy brought this out and it got me thinking, like, I think a spar is, might not be a bad idea. Well, this is basically applying what we've learned from failure after failure with our foam board airplane. <laughs> oh! oh my god! <laughs> we need a strong spar so the wings don't fold. Well, we're just applying it to a boat. You need a strong spar so your boat don't fold. Don't worry, right, Seven. So get back to work. We'll let you know when your boat's ready. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> Time to use a little bit of my martial art training. That is some loud foam. <laughs> so while the other guys are working on the boat, I'm gonna work on a bomb drop system for the P-47s. The P-47 sometimes had bombs right under the wings, or sometimes they would have a whole bunch of rockets, which I think is really cool. So the idea here is that we're gonna combine those two and make a cluster bomb system for the P-47s. So if you guys saw in the last video, it was really hard to get a hit on the ship. Oh! <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, a cluster bomb system where we can drop, say, three bombs from under each wing, that'll be a lot easier to get a hit. So I have a little push rod segment connected to uh, one arm on the servo arm, and then two little zip ties holding it in place. Now, the idea is when I flip the switch, the push rod only comes out of one of the zip ties and it stays in the other one. So we're just gonna have a bomb attached to this zip tie, and then once we pull the switch, it'll just fall right out. So now I'm going to put push rods on the other three arms. So that means we'll be able to have four bombs in our cluster bomb. So the approach we decided to take here is to rip out all the internal structure and we're going to turn the battleship into a kayak. What we have to do is we're going to double up the foam on the bottom. Now we're using our waterproof maker foam and this is also a special prototype maker foam that we're developing that's twice as thick and it is super strong. But with the weight of a 175, 180 pound guy in there, we need to double that up to add that much more rigidity. After that, what we're doing is we're taking two two by fours and we're gonna run them as spars on either side of where Stefan is gonna be sitting. And those will give rigidity to the length of the boat. And then after that, we've gotta figure out a way to cut up our third two by four into sections so that we can lay those across the bottom to be something for Stefan to sit on that's a little more rigid than double layer of foam. I really think that two layers of this foam would support him, but we're going a little bit overkill because we don't wanna lose him through the bottom of the boat. All right, let's set that down in here. Okay. Mm, look at that. All right, man. How do you feel about our construction job? Dude, I, uh, first and foremost, when we didn't have any support in it, I felt, actually after everything happened, I felt pretty good about it. Um, now that I have a full wooden support system that looks legit like Carpenter's made it, I'm feeling very confident because it's going to displace the weight. It's just, I just don't see it failing. Well, you might sink it, but I the mean, structure is going to be fine. Exactly. 
if we were to be at the bottom of the pond in perfect condition, yes. stability is a different factor. <laughs> we don't know what all this weight's gonna do. We don't, the, the more weight, obviously the more buoyancy is required, but wood technically floats. The whole thing's made out of foam, and then we sprayed more foam on it. So like, even if it fills with water, I don't know if it would actually sink. Right. I don't think so. I put these gloves on, I didn't even, I, I just filmed him doing all the work. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be great, guys. I, e even if I sink to the bottom of the ocean, I'm, I'm loving it already. Let's go. Something that's really been helping out with this build is we got these new fully sit-stand desks. I've been wanting one of these for a build table for a while now because whenever I'm building over a lower table, I get a crick in my neck and I start getting hobby neck where my head starts sticking forward. I can build a lot longer using these tables because I don't fatigue as quickly. And I've also been enjoying their kneeling chair. For the first 33 years of my life, I struggled with a lot of really bad health issues and I finally have gotten treatment that has helped a lot. And something that is pivotal is really good posture. Using a sit-stand desk and this kneeling chair has been a real game changer. I'm leaving the shop at the end of the day with a lot more energy and I'm not having pain in my neck and shoulders. Definitely check out Fully for their different health-related products. All right, man. <laughs> Foam board transformer. I feel like one of those ancient samurais, dude. That's what I feel like. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, darling, he looks so darling. good, darling. This is a hobo suit, darling. Oh, you can't be seen in this. Permission to buzz the tower. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw it here first. We are getting close to being ready to take this out on the water. I have got to paint this thing and make it look really sweet. It's gonna take a whole lot of spray paint and it is super windy today. So this paint is flying everywhere. But the other thing that is really awesome is John Overstreet was here last week and he brought two of the new P-47 airplanes that we are gonna be releasing very soon. He is painting them up to look sweet. And these are the planes we're using in this epic battle. One is the bubble canopy, one is the Razorback design. So find the link below to get an email notification for when they are in stock on our store, fully released. Now, all of our planes are built with standard foam board like you can buy at the dollar store. Now, we recommend buying Adam's Ready Board brand because it builds the best. But we build our planes out of common materials so that anybody can go out and find popsicle sticks, barbecue skewers, coffee straws, hot glue, and make an amazing looking airplane. Our mission is really to get people excited about learning number one, how to build, and number two, how to fly. We offer free plans for all of our over 60 airplane designs, or you can support us by buying one of our speed build kits, and we have free build videos that walk you through step-by-step -step how to have success building your airplane. We also have a complete beginner series teaching you everything you need to know to have success getting in the air. Yo, Jeremy. What's up? <clears throat> so, it, we got a problem. It is storming as we speak. It's pouring. And it's gonna be storming for the rest of the day. And tomorrow, I hop on a jet plane to Florida for vacation. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to sit here. I'm gonna be on the beach. How do you feel about uh, taking bombs from airplanes? I built the boat. Yes with the mentality of like, I'm gonna build this to where I feel comfortable getting into it. We're good there. Uh, I think you'll be okay. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be fun. All right, so we got our CPAC radial motors on here. And what's pretty cool about brushless motors, most people don't know, is you could just dunk them in the water and they work perfectly. The only thing we can't do is put the ESC in the water. We actually have a whole video on waterproofing electronics. It's pretty crazy. You could put your whole RC helicopter in water. Are you kidding me? Nope. <laughs> Next, we gotta figure out a way to mount radial motors actually on the ship. Last time we mounted them on the ship with foam board, but this time we're gonna have to use something sturdier. Jeremy actually cut out some plywood and he's gonna actually screw that into the interior frame. That way it's more rigid. And then we're just gonna hot glue our motor mounts right onto that plywood. All right, dude, you wouldn't believe me if I told you what I had to do to get this box, but I got it. Check this out. This is our goodie package, as you can see from our friends over at eBay. 
And this is another goodie package within that goodie package. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, you ready for this? Check this out. What? What is this thing, man? A micro gun? Oh. <laughs> this is like the gun from War Machine that comes out of his shoulder. It's like right there. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Nice. And the good news is we got two of them. Sweet. Nice. They also sent us these tracer units and it shines a flash of UV light on the BB making it glow in the dark. So as you can see, these things look amazing. We're not gonna be using it on the minigun today, but check out our A10 versus tank video if you wanna see these glow BBs in action because they are awesome. Evic, I gotta hand it to you. I didn't even know this type of stuff existed. A huge shout out to Evic for sending us this and make sure you check out the links below. They have all kinds of really cool airsoft products. Definitely check them out. So I am gonna be doing a modification to this because I'm gonna have airplanes flying at my face. There's a level of risk here. Don't try this at home, but I wanted to protect myself a little more, so I made a blast shield. That's awesome. I'm trying to shoot airplanes out of the sky as they're flying at me. Safety is important. All right, so last time we dropped the 3D printed bombs. Those had limited success, but we knew we wanted to step it up this time and drop something different, something a little bit more visually pleasing. And after a lot of elaborate ideas, we figured there's no other option than this. That's right, we're dropping rubber ducks and special shout out to Jeremy's wife, Julia, who actually came up with this awesome idea. Nothing like a good sense of humor and also bringing a little bit of light hardness to an epic battle in the sea. All right, test one, this thing is amazing. Let's see how she shoots. <laughs> that seems like ridiculously accurate. Yeah, and painful if you got hit by that. I really do think this has potential to just just take a wing off. All right, dude, so you got the quad duck uh, release mechanism. All right, let's see how it works. Hey! <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so the ship is ready, the mini guns are ready, the ducks are ready, the P-47s are ready. There's only one thing left to do. We gotta go get some golf carts, load them up there, head out to the pond, out on the far hole. There's an epic battle brewing. Let's get to it. What Andrus is doing right now is he is getting all of his ducks in a row, <laughs> getting them ready to drop onto Jeremy's head. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, this new hobby, Airsoft, we're taking to it pretty good. It's pretty awesome. And the coolest thing about this is it's kind of like two hobbies collide and check this out. Does this look familiar in here? This is our normal hobby battery. So this gun actually shoots the airsoft BBs using gas power. However, to make the barrel spin, it uses an electric. And so for that, we're using a Lumineer 3-cell 2250, and it should be more than enough power to shoot this thing all day long. All right, moment of truth. Time to see if this boat's gonna float. Watch the motors. Yep, keep it at a higher angle. Good, good. Motors are clear, so you can lower the angle if you want to. Jeremy, how you feeling, dude? I'm actually a lot more nervous. I, yeah. <laughs> setting in for you? <laughs> like, it's it's kind of setting in. Like I'm gonna be having actual planes flying at me. It's a little scary. I was thinking about this earlier. My grandfather. He served as a helmsman on the USS Wasp aircraft carrier in World War II, and he would tell stories of the kamikaze attacks. The USS Wasp actually shot down the last kamikaze of the war, and my grandpa would tell me the story of when it was coming in, he was on the catwalk on the other side of the flight deck, and as it's coming in, he's got his head between his knees, and he's praying, dear God, help them not shoot my butt off. I don't know, it's kind of taking a somber tone right now, but, thinking about what he and all the veterans have been through just makes us appreciate being here at Edgewater and being able to create this awesome content for you guys. Grandpa, this is for you. I think your uh, grandpa's uniform looked a little bit different too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moment of truth. Time to see if this boat's gonna float. Oh, dude, yes. Right in the middle, perfect, right. dude. Yes. Beautiful. Perfect, sit on that wood in the perfect back. Perfect execution by the boat captain. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's heavy. Oh, wow. Push him off the shore, dude. Bye, Jeremy. 
Bye. 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 <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy! It's actually working. It didn't even sink down like an inch. All right, as you guys can see, the boat is floating fantastic. There's only one thing left to do. We got some ducks to drop. We're gonna start with two ducks, because as you guys know, as you add weight to planes, it changes the way they fly quite a bit. Now, his bomb drops that he made are designed to carry up to eight, but we wanted to start it simple with just two, and then we'll see how it goes from there. We got two on there this time. We're gonna see how she flies. You ready? Here we go. Uh, what is that called when there's weight, but below the center line of the plane that changes uh, it? Rubber ducks? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm gonna do one, one run just to line it up, see what it feels like. Oh, he's Ooh, shooting Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. I think two ducks, uh, you can definitely feel it, but it's, it still flies pretty darn good. All right, this is the one, I can feel it. Jeremy, you're going down, man. All right, coming in. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that was close, How'd that That look? was really close, yeah. All right, let me bring her in for landing. All right, P-47 still in one piece. Let's load her back up. You keep Jeremy floating, okay? <laughs> All right, here All we right. go. So first, this is our first maiden flight with the eight ducks. Eight ducks. This is a heavy jug right here. You ready? All right, here we go, dude, ready? <laughs> oh! Wow, that is a heavy jug. <laughs> Oh, she looks a little wonky. All right. all right, dude. How does she feel with all she them ducks? Feels really strange, actually. I think we're okay. She uh, you a little, you a might be okay. A little bit wonky, but but I think we can still get a drop on. Them. All right. The sun's right right in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't help. Yeah. There's so many variables here with this battle. <laughs> it's really challenging. All right. Here comes the jug. Looks awesome with the ducks on it. Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh man. Oh. Dude, I was watching the ducks and I should not have been. Gosh. Oh man. All right, so what happened there is Andrus, we decided to drop one bay of ducks at a time, and what it caused was the plane became a little bit unbalanced on the roll axis, <laughs> uh, causing uh, his P47 to. Oh no. That was the Razorback. Yeah, I know. That was the Razorback. That was, that was the best one. one. Oh. All right, well, I don't want to fly my jug now with eight ducks on it. No, you're flying <laughs> Little it. You're flying it. I would say drop both your ducks at once. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy didn't even see a crash. All right, nothing else left to talk about. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, geez. Whoa, nice. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I think eight ducks is too many. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to do a higher altitude drop just to keep my P47. That's that's a good idea. Relatively safe. <laughs> Keeping your airspeed up is super hard. Yeah. I also feel like the prop wash or something is hitting the uh, the ducks and causing it to do all kinds of weird stuff. She's like super unstable right oh. now, dude. All right, I'm gonna drop them. Yeah, I don't Jeremy is just unloading. I don't think P-47s were meant to carry rubber ducks. All right, here comes the drop. <laughs> hey, 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 I think we got some hits. Did I get it? I think so, yeah. No way. They landed all around me. <laughs> all right, coming in for a landing. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice. That was the ride of a lifetime. Uh, dude, I cannot believe how good those little <laughs> power pack motors push him around. All right, dude. Uh, get you back in here to safety. All right. How'd I do? I just counted. There are 30 confirmed shots going through this thing. <laughs> Look at that damage, dude. That's crazy. Nice. That was pretty awesome. I, I didn't expect you to have that many hits. I guess you yeah. were firing a lot of rounds. Yeah. So, all right, let's go check out the other P-47, see how it did. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say your ducks were not in a row. Oh, in that particular oh. oh man. That was pretty crazy, man. How are you feeling after that, man? How was the boat ride? That was tiring, but so much fun. Evic, thank you so much. We wouldn't have been able to do this project without them, so definitely send them some love. We also did another battle with this boat when we first built it, so make sure you check that out here. If you want to see an A-10 battle on Epic Tank with Airsoft, check that out here. 
Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. <laughs> that seems like ridiculously accurate.